Okay, folks, how are you going? Uh, today we're talking about the power system that we have on the back of our ute. Because uh, we've just recently done some upgrades to it. Um, for the last six years we've had an AGM battery, 120 amp hour AGM battery, running our 2000 watt inverter. Um, but it's never been up to the task properly. We would normally make it through about one and a half coffees and then it would die. Uh, it just didn't have enough capacity to it, despite all the mathematics saying that we should be able to run that battery for at least half an hour. Um, so what we did recently is just upgraded to the iTech World 120X lithium battery, which has been brilliant so far. We get to make as many coffees as we like when we're free camping now. Uh, that battery has enough grunt to it to uh, easily run this uh, red arc. Uh, the Red Arc itself, this particular uh, inverter, is it's a really good inverter. However, it does trip out at about, uh, for safety reasons, at about 10.5 volts plus or minus 3. So when you're chucking 100, um, 1300 amps through the inverter, uh, it would quite easily get to that cutoff point using the AGM battery whereas the lithium battery it maintains that 12.5 volts the whole way through so uh, we don't have that issue anymore uh, so this has been really good so this uh, inverter we plug that into the side of our van when we're free camping and uh, we can use that for various things toasters coffee washing machine that sort of thing so if we have a look around here though what we also upgraded was we upgraded to an MPPT solar controller from iTech World. Uh, it's a 20 amp one and uh, that takes the solar energy from our solar, our 120 watt solar panel on the roof and uh, that regulates that before putting it back into the battery. So, what we did used to have is we did used to have this red arc. PWM regulator. Nothing wrong with it at all. That actually worked quite nicely. However, the MPPT one works in overcast conditions and this one has a lithium profile. So I know that when the solar panel is charging the battery, it's charging it the way the lithium battery wants it to be done. Uh, so that's that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> the battery in the back there does various tasks. It doesn't do just the caravan, so it does our winch and it does our GPS system and our UHF and entertainment system. So it's got a fair bit of work to do. And if we have a look around here, even though it's um, the sun's gone down at the moment because it's uh, almost night time, uh, it's 13.1. And the shed's the use been under the shed all day, so uh, yeah, so the battery's been maintained quite nicely. Just on a side note, we used to have the inverter for years and years and years. We used to have it mounted to the side of the bodywork on the on the tray. So recently, I just went to Bunnings and bought some plywood, and went to Spotlight and bought some carpet, and made up all this you can see here to have the inverter nicely mounted on the side there. So quite happy with how that turned out. Um, but yeah, so the iTech World stuff. I'm actually quite impressed with it so far, it's been doing quite well, so um, just bear that in mind if you're having a look for anything, and uh, I don't work for iTech well, we bought everything we've got here, but uh, just saying that it's, uh, it's working quite well, so yeah, until next time, catch you later. G'day folks, how you going? What are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> no, we're not. We're talking about. Uh... G'day, folks. How are you going? What are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about bare boobs and rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually.